increase out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles an hour eventually. Uh, not quite that windy during the evening. We hit 33 during the evening and then temperatures actually climb after midnight into the mid to upper 30s and then low 50s uh, look likely tomorrow in many areas, especially along and south of 96. Most of the day will be rain free. You can see the showers waiting in the wings off to the west of us, though, and that will impact us towards evening. Windy tomorrow. You can see winds here midday in the 30s with gusts even around 40 at Kalamazoo, according to this particular model at that time. So a windy and warm day with highs right around 51, and that's the last of the warmth before that cold front comes on through. Late tomorrow night, we'll see some evening rain showers that will transition over to snow. Here's the rain at 10 p.m. Tomorrow night, we're still in the upper 40s, so if you're going to be out tomorrow evening doing some last-minute Christmas shopping, It'll be mild with wet roads and then things become icy perhaps by Christmas Eve morning with some snow showers and falling temperatures and wind chills will be on the drop as well. Lake effect gets a little bit more organized Christmas Eve night into Christmas morning, making for tricky roadways and uh, some gusty winds to still accompany that snowfall that we're expecting both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Now I mentioned the rain tomorrow evening, the mild air still with us through at least midnight late tomorrow night. You could see a quarter inch or so of rain as possible in some areas. And then we transition over to snow as that cold air comes in after midnight tomorrow night by Christmas morning, an inch or two, maybe three or four in some of those favored lake effect areas might get a little bit more than the models advertising there, but generally one to two inch snow expected to perhaps just the dusting in some other areas uh, over the next couple of days. Wind chills after staying non-issue territory in the 40s for most of the afternoon tomorrow will start to drop off as that cold front comes on through. This is just after midnight. They're dropping into the 20s and then single digits by Christmas Eve morning. And we just kind of hover in the single digits to low teens as we head through Christmas Day. So it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system after all the mild air that we've had recently to experience those wind chills in the single digits on Thursday, Friday. Bundle up, wear a hat, scarf, gloves gloves, mittens, all that kind of stuff. Boots, you're going to need that for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because it is going to be cold with some lake effect snow. Not a huge storm here, I don't think, uh, with uh, most areas, again, in that one to three inch category with some three to five inch uh, uh, places uh, such as around South Haven, for example, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. All right, thank you for that, Todd.